All right, so I have NBA 2K25, the city trailer. Let's go into the video. All right, here we go, man. Less running around. Okay. More running it back. Okay. Enter the new city. Okay. Got the wreck. Okay. Wait, was that LD? Triple threat parts. Okay, yeah. I thought I saw NBA 2K16 something. My bad. Sorry. I thought I saw something that I ain't seen in years. My bad, y'all. Sorry. Oh, my court is back. Yep. Starting five. Run the wreck. All right. I thought I saw somebody else. Early tip off, hit the half court. Okay. All right, man. All right. Um. Okay. Man, what do I think about this, man? I'm gonna be honest with you, right? And I don't. Maybe it's just me, bro. But like, bro. Here's what I'll say, right? Here's what I'll say, because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, right? I haven't played 2K in a very long time. Um, I think uh, to be honest with you in 2k. I hope you don't take this the wrong way But bro, I fell out of love with 2k years ago uh, And now I know I'm one guy or whatever So I know that like me not really being involved with 2k is not gonna like tank 2k sales or whatever But to be honest with you, man, um, I just gotta like just keep it real man. I haven't really been involved with NBA 2k like that um, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. I think that there's like a plane going over but um but I think for me, it, it, it's not even just like, oh, like, okay, it all started NBA 2K18. I don't know what it was, bro. It was like, bro, in order for you to score, you kind of have to, like, solve, like, a Rubik's Cube for you to, like, make a layup or for you to, like, you know, like, get past a person. The defense was just incredible, bro. You had, like, people like, bro, you had, uh... Or you had like Dion Waiters like trying to lock you up. You had like Anthony Bennett, people that aren't even in a league anymore. You had those randoms. I, I don't mean to disrespect guys. You had those randoms locking you up. It was crazy. Like the defense was absolutely just nasty. NBA 2K19 was a little uh for me. I think that's the one where Giannis was on the trailer, right? That was a little uh it wasn't really that bad, but that was uh NBA 2K20 was surprisingly good in my in my opinion. I thought cuz like bro, after 18 and 19 I was thinking okay, cool, NBA 2K20, I'm praying that it's good. And to be honest with you, it was good, but also like it, it ended bad. But I think the game definitely fell apart in like the last stage uh before NBA 2K21 came out. Uh and so yeah, NBA 2K20 w was good, but then like it fell apart at the end. NBA 2K21 was uh then like it. NBA 2K22, surprisingly I did like it. Uh, even though it was cheesy, uh, it was kind of hard to score a little bit, but but you know what? I still liked it. NBA 2K23, I didn't like it at all. NBA 2K24 was all right. It was all right. It was a perfect in the middle. It was all right. It was, it was uh, but at the same time, I kind of liked it. My point that I'm trying to say is, it was, I didn't really trust NBA 2K anymore. I didn't trust it. Um, year after year after year, bro, I, it was like we were praying for, like, we were praying for the game to be good again. Not in a sense of, oh, okay, bring back all the things that we missed from, like, NBA 2K16 or NBA 2K17. It was just like, bro, like, just, just, just be regular. That's it. Just be regular. Just be the regular NBA 2K. We don't want the unnecessary, like, like, in, like, in these trailers, bro, they were promising these, uh, these sharp cuts and the graphics were amazing. Let's be honest, NBA 2K, whenever it comes to graphics, like, cool, it, I guess you can say it upgrades every single year in graphics. Again, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. This is, bro, when I, I tell people all the time, and if you're new here, bro, thank you guys for, you know, subscribing and, you know, checking me out. But if you're new here, bro, I tell people all the time, 
NBA 2K, I, like, this is the only game that you will ever hear anything, re like, relatively bad come out of my mouth, bro. Because in all the other games that I play, bro, like, I love those games, you know. And, bro, especially, like, new games that I, that, you know, that I find out, bro, I end up, like, liking them or not. But at the end of the day, bro, like, a lot of these games that I, even, even if I rage at, I still love those games. NBA 2K, bro, I'm going to be completely honest with you, bro. And maybe it's just me, but, bro, it, it just 2K doesn't hit the same anymore, bro. And I'm not, listen, I'm not Flight Reacts. First of all, shout out to FTC. I'm not Flight Reacts. That man, bro, he'll, bro, F, F what'd he say? He said F, F Ronald and F Mike. <laughs> See, Flight... Bro, I respect Flight so much because he's blunt. He don't care what nobody say. For me, I'm going to tell you the truth, though. Even though I'm not going to be as bold and vulgar as Flight, I'm going to tell you the truth. I, I, I got to be honest to myself. What type of man would I be about if I sit here and lie to myself and to lie to you guys? Like, what type of man would I be? I fell out of love with NBA 2K. I did. I, I don't trust them anymore. Um, to be fair... I mean, I, I see NBA 2K25 looks like something that could be something. But to be honest with you, bro, um, all I see is a bunch of promises that haven't been fulfilled yet. All I see is NBA 2K coming through and saying, hey, guys, we're bringing this back. We're bringing this back. We're bringing this back. Hey, guys, speed boosting's back. We're bringing that. Oh, we get the bump steal? Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, I hear that that we're bringing back the the 3v3 courts from NBA 2K16 and at this point there's nothing new about the game you're just bringing stuff that we had you're you're bringing the past back to you no you're bringing the past to the present which you would think oh okay that sounds great no that's not great not in every single circumstance now for some circumstances like like Call of Duty Call of Duty, um, whenever Call of Duty Warzone had uh, Rebirth Island, right? We all loved the map. Whatever. Like, at first, we were confused. We, we was like, bro, what map is this? Da, 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 da. And then we all grew to love it. And then when uh, Warzone, sorry, and then when Call of Duty took it out and it was and it was gone for like two years, we were like, oh, okay, well, like what's going on? And then they brought it back and we all still love Rebirth. Like everybody loves, you know, Rebirth Island, right? So that worked. It worked, right? It brought a lot of people back. It worked. For NBA 2K25, bro, like, the thing is, they can try to bring back the My Court, bring back the NBA 2K16 uh, Court, try to bring back all these things. But in reality, bro, it's about the gameplay. And to be fair, the gameplay is not that bad. It's just you can't, that can't be the thing that attracts people. You can't keep bringing, you can't keep bringing the past to, to the present. You can't keep doing that. You can't keep doing that. It, it's not. It, it, you're, that's not how you. That's not how you advance as a, like as a. You have to. You have to. You have to build and you have to keep inventing new stuff. You have to keep, you know, um, coming through with different ideas. And this is not me roasting NBA 2K. I'm not roasting y'all at all. I hope y'all don't take this as me roasting you guys. But that's all I've been seeing for the past what five years. Oh, we're bringing this back. We're bringing this back. We're bringing this back. We're bring bro. I'm, listen, again, I'm not roasting you, but. That's tiring, bro. Hearing y'all saying that y'all bringing this back and you're bringing back the NBA 2K16, you're bringing back the Mike Court, you're bringing back... That's great and all, but we've already had that. What's new? What's new? We've had all that. The speed boost. We've had all that. That's It's so crazy because speed boosting was... That, was, that, that technically wasn't even like a... That wasn't even like a 2K thing. That was that was kind of like an exploit. Like like the speed boosting was that that was kind of like an exploit. Now that's a legit thing. Speed boosting is a legit thing in NBA 2K now. That's the same thing as slide canceling in Call of Duty. Slide canceling in Call of Duty wasn't a thing. It's just people that play Call of Duty a lot. They figured out an exploit for like movement to like for like uh, inconsistent movement so they wouldn't get sniped. If they're running across the field, whatever, so they can just slide cancel and have inconsistent moving. And then Call of Duty was like, oh, okay, you know what? Let's just put that in the game officially. Let's just put slide cancel in the game. And so now we can just slide cancel without us like having to break our like four fingers or whatever, like playing a game. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, it, it's just, 
And again, I'm not here trying to roast NBA 2K, bro. Shout out to 2 Bro, I've been playing 2K since I was like, bro, since I was like, what, 11, bro? I've been playing 2K since I was like this tall. And so whatever I'm saying, I'm not trying to come at you guys. I'm trying to be real. Because guess what? Even if you do bring a lot of new stuff and you fail at it, let's say nobody like it. I res I, bro, I still respect the thought that you still try to bring something new to the game. Because guess what? The only thing that's new, I mean, the only thing that is new is like, all right, cool, the city. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The city is not a bad idea. I don't think the city is a bad idea at all. To be fair, I mean, they, they do have a, like a lot of content in the city. So, I mean, if I'm, if I'm just keeping it real with you, the city is not a bad idea in the first place. Um, but I just feel like, you know, that should, they might as well just call like, like the 3v3 thing. Like they might as well just call it like the park, but I see why they call it the city because there's so many courses, so many different game modes inside this city, uh, or basically NBA 2k online. Um, like they have like the, like the, my team, you have the wreck, you have the actual parks, you have the 3v3, uh, parks or whatever. Um, you have, what else you have? You have like the, the Gatorade facility, you have like the, um, and like, bro, so many other places. So I see why they call it the city, but um, at the end of the day, man, I, I don't know, man. It, it's just, bro, I, bro, and I don't know. I, I just don't know. Like, it's different because, like, like Call of Duty and 2K kind of fall in like the same bracket, but they're not the same. Obviously, they drop year after year after year. But one thing about Call of Duty, one thing that I will always, I don't care how mad I get at Call of Duty. I don't care how mad I get. I don't care how mad I get at Call of Duty or whatever. The reason I'm going to keep buying Call of Duty year after year after year, bro, is because something is different. Something is different. And and, and, and it's not just multiplayer. For, for, like, for Call of Duty, bro, like, their campaigns hit crazy. And guess what? If one year if their campaigns don't hit crazy, the multiplayer is going to hit crazy. And guess what? If their multiplayer is going to hit crazy, the zombies is going to hit crazy. It's always something that, that like, every single year that, that, that seems good about the game. Even if you hate one part of the game, you can still play this part. You still love this part of the game. So this is why Call of Duty will always be at the top whenever it comes to, you know, first-person shoes and stuff like that. Because Call of Duty, you can hate it, but they, it's always something different. You can hate it if you want to, but it's, it's, it's something different. With NBA 2K, it felt like I was playing the same game for three years, bro. Great, cool. You're adding in these new signature animations. Great, you know, we have these, uh, what is it, the shot cancel gameplay. Yeah, cool, we can speed boost now. That's great and all. That's great, but I don't know, bro. I, I think I'm just tired of the game. I, I'm just like, you know, and I mean, thankfully, like, you know, I'm not like an NBA 2K, like, uh, creator or nothing like that. You know, shout out to all the NBA 2K streamers and YouTubers out there. Shout out to you guys, man. Uh, but, man, I, I couldn't do that, man. Shout out to y'all. For coming up for for coming up with like you know ideas and you know for playing a game bro day after day for making videos out of it for making streams out of it shout out to ipod king carter chris move shout out to all them all the ogs that's been that's been doing this for for years that's been playing 2k you know for, for us for years man because i couldn't do that man i think like i just i just got tired of it i think i just got tired of it bro um other than that man um a lot of things that i see in this trailer um, I'm pretty sure the, I think those were the 3v3 courts from NBA 2K16. That's cool. I, that's cool. Um, a lot of the environments, they get like, here's what I'll say though. That's really cool. The environments that like these courts are in looks pretty nice. They got like the, like the transformer thing. Um, they got like a whole stadium where you're like, you, uh, I think you're playing in like the, uh, what, what was it? I think you're playing in like, uh, it was, they were in like a whole stadium. I think you're playing. You're playing like the was it like the wreck or something. I don't know, man. I like, I just don't know anymore. But um, they do have. I, I mean, you know what? It is good seeing the NBA 2K16 courts in here. I, I will admit that they got the they got the um, like the Rough Riders in here. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, that is cool. I'll give I'll give 2K that they did bring back the NBA 2K16 thing. Um, but also like you you can't like. This is supposed to be a new game. You can't trick. I mean, you can because it was in your game, but like that can't be your only thing. You get what I'm saying? You can't, you know, when people are about to leave, right? You can't be like, oh, okay, you know what? Well, since you're about to leave, uh, I'll give, 
I'll give you NBA 2K16 uh, courts. Like, you can't, you could do that because it is your game, bro. But, like, come on, bro. And, like, you know that's, like, a, that's a soft spot. Like, that game, NBA 2K16 was perfect, bro, from head to toe, bro. And so, like, you, you can't hook people like that. That, that, that. Like, that's, that's like a finesse in a way. And a little bit. That's like a finesse in a way a little bit, bro. Because, you're like, you're hooking people. Like, if your game doesn't go good, you can always try to hook people back up and be like, hey, well, you know, we're going to bring back the NBA 2K16 uh, shot meter or whatever. And then, and then everybody's excited now, right? And then you, you, they come back and stuff like that, you know. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing because, obviously, you know, everybody has a business to run. You know, everybody, you know, I, you know, all the companies want, you know, want to eat off their game and stuff like that. I understand that. But I think that's a little bit messed up how, you know, how, like, how a game could come out and it doesn't really do well and then like you try to dangle over the one thing that we all had in the past it's kind of like you're it's kind of like you're taking taking advantage of like somebody's nostalgia in a way <laughs> like other than that man 2k i don't want no beef or nothing like that man but i just gotta keep it real you know because if i'm not real with myself man what type of man am I, like am i bro i i gotta keep it real you know and um i'll try out you know this year's 2k but if i don't like it i'm not gonna like it. i'm not gonna sit here and make a rant video about it uh, or nothing like that. I mean, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, bro. I like if I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. You know. So, other than that, I just had to be real. Um, sorry to anybody if, if I offended anybody. Sorry to y'all, man. But I just gotta keep it real, man. I gotta keep it real, and I gotta keep it real to the people who watch my videos. Shout out to all you guys that's watching my videos, and uh, see you guys later. Bring some out, and peace.